following are the transitions of NPDA M. Delta of Q0 epsilon Z0 is Q1 S Z0, Q1 0 S is Q1 S A, Q1 A, Q1 epsilon, Q1 1 S is Q1 S B, Q1 B, Q1 epsilon, Delta of Q1 0 A is uh, Q1 epsilon, Delta of Q1 1 B is Q1 epsilon, Q1 epsilon Z0 is Q1 epsilon. So here Q1 epsilon Z0 will be QF epsilon finally. So options are uh, all palindromes, uh, B is even palindromes, C is odd length palindromes, D none of the above. So for normally uh, this is a push down automata which is converted from the grammar. So S2, 0, S0, 1, S1, R0, R1, R epsilon is for palindromes. When you remove this epsilon, you will get S2, 0, S0, 1, S1, R0, 0, R1, 1, R0, R1. R0, R1 which will give you both uh, even length and odd length. So if you take into grayback normal form, you will get 0 SA, 1 SB, 0 A, 1 B, R0, R1, where A tends to 0, B tends to 1. So this is uh, converted into equivalent PDA because S is replaced with SA here and uh, A here and again epsilon, and 0 not followed by any variable. Similarly, SB, B and epsilon. So 0 is epsilon, q1 a 0 a like this. So this is generating all palindromes. So option a is the right option. Following statements is false with respect to recursive enumerable languages. Option a recursive enumerable languages are closed under clean closure operation. Option b recursive enumerable languages are closed under intersection. Option c if l is recursive enumerable then complement of l is also recursive enumerable. D Recursive enumerable languages are not closed under set difference. So option A is a true statement because recursive languages are closed under clean closure. Uh, option B, recursive languages are closed under intersection. Yes, this is also correct. Uh, true statement. We need false statement. If L is recursive enumerable, then complement of L is also recursive enumerable. It is wrong. So option C is the right option. It is a false statement. Because the complement of recursive is recursive, but complement of recursive enumerable is not recursive enumerable. If language L and its complement both are recursive enumerable means it should be recursive. Okay. D is uh, recursive enumerable languages are not closed under set difference. This is also true statement. Option C is the right option. DOM and SACS are used to option A to process XML uh, documents. Option B to transform XML to HTML. Option C to validate XML file. And option D none of these. Here uh, DOM is full form of document object mode and it is an API for XML and HTML documents. It is used to access and manipulate user to access and manipulate XML and HTML and SACS is full form of simple API that is simple application program interface for XML. It is it is an alternative for DOM and it is used for the same purpose. So we can say DOM and SACS are used to process XML documents. So your correct option is option A. Uh, the frequency f of x is defined by the formula f of x is equal to uh, sigma i is equal to 1 to x 3i minus 2 and uh, f of x plus 1 is defined as f of x plus k. Now we have to find the value of k. So, uh, f of x is given as sigma i is equal to 1 to x so 3i minus 2. So if we expand this we will be getting first term uh, if i is equal to 1 it will be 3 minus 2. So 1, if i is equal to 2, 6 minus 2, 4, if i is equal to 3, 9 minus 2, 7, plus 10, plus so on up to 3x, when i is equal to x, it would be 3x uh, minus 2. So this is a last term. This is f of x. So if we expand f of x plus 1, f of x plus 1 would be i is equal to 1 to x plus 1 3i minus 2. So this is 
f of x plus 1. So if we expand this, it would be get, we would be getting 3, 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10. This would be when I, x, I is equal to x, 3x minus 2. But here i is equal to, last term would be i is equal to x plus 1. So 3 into x plus 1 minus 2. So this up to here, this is f of x. So this is f of x plus this would be 3x plus 3 minus 2, which is 3x plus 1. But here it is given as f of x, f of x plus 1 is given as f of x plus k. So we'll be getting k as 3x plus 1. So which is option A.